Hi everybody, it's Mr Paul from Charles Dickens Primary School with your daily phonics lesson. Today is Friday, the 1st of May. It's the first day of a new month, the month of May. And I've got an exciting lesson for you, starting off with some more of our tricky words. Now we're going to be looking at the words all and are. All of us are very good at practicing phonics. We are all good at practicing phonics because we are working so hard. Now the first word all, by the way, you're going to need a pen, a pencil, and a piece of paper. Okay? All. Now I'm going to write it up here. A L L. All. Now what's tricky about this word is not the first, is, sorry, is not the last sound, which is all. We often spell it with two L's, but it's the start. Normally the letter A makes the sound A, ah. but here it's all. 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 So could you write that one down for me at the top, please? And then our next tricky word is are. Are. We are going to write the word. It's the letter A again. Then the letter R. Then the letter E. R. R. Now if we, if we were using our phonics here, we'd say that was a, er, e, a, er, e. It's not O, is it? It's R. Ah. So you just have to practice these to remember them. They're really useful words. Now we're going to write three sentences today using these two words. First one we're going to write is about cats. Cats, like this cat here. There we go. Cats. We're going to say, whoops, let's put them here. We're going to say, they're falling everywhere, aren't they? We're going to say, all cats are. All cats are, and then it's up to you what you want to say they are. All cats are furry. All cats are furry. All cats are fun. All cats are beautiful. It's up to you. Now, when we start our sentence, we're going to use a capital letter. So our first word is going to be all. So, even though it's spelt like this, we need a capital A, which we write like that. And it's two L's, all. We need to use our phonics, don't we, to spell the word cats. Cat. I think you'll be really good at this. Cats. K -a -t -s. Cats. Two finger spaces. Make sure you always put two finger spaces after every word. K -a -t -s. All cats are all Cats are. It's one of our tricky words today, isn't it? Ah. Now, can you hear Wendy? She can hear about cats and she wants to join in. Perhaps she can come and say hello in a minute. All cats are. I haven't got any space here, but maybe you have on your page. I need to go on to a new line. All cats are. I'm going to say Furry. 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 You can put something else if you like. Uh. Now it's in the middle of the word. So is it you are or er? Well done. It's you are in the middle. Uh, now, 
all cats are fur. Let me write furry. We need to put two R's. All cats are furry. All cats are fur. And when we have E at the end of a word, it isn't spelt with the letters E and E. E, E, it's spelt with the letter Y. All cats are furry. Full stop. All cats are furry. Good. Pause the video if you need more time to write your sentence. Now next I want to write about... What shall I pick? Dogs or frogs? I'm going to pick dogs. So I start again. All. I think I can go after my full stop here. The finger spaces. All. Can I pick dogs here? I don't think so. So new line. Dogs. 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 Can you write it before I do? First sound. D. O. O. G. O. D. O. G. S. A. All dogs are. Can I say about dogs? Hmm. I could say all dogs are hairy, like Harry McClary. Hairy. Let's use our phonics to spell it. Hairy. Make it long so you can hear all the sounds. Hairy. Airy. So first sound. How do we write air? Yet yeah, we don't forget that one, do we? Because it's like Harry McClary. A I R. And when E is at the end of a word, we spell it with the letter Y. Harry. And a full stop at the end. Very good. Maybe you wrote all dogs are hairy. Maybe you wrote something else. All dogs are funny. Now I've got one more to write. I've done, I've done my dog. All frogs. All frogs. All. Frogs. Make it nice and long. Frogs. Uh, ogs, frogs. Can you write it before I do? Frog. Frog. What have I missed off the end? Frogs. Frogs. How do I write R? Well, it's up here, isn't it? R. A. R. E. All frogs are. So I'm going to say green. 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 Nice and long. Green. So I can hear all the sounds. Green. Green. First sound was G. E. That was not at the end of the word, so I don't use the letter Y. 
in the middle of the word, isn't it? G -er -e. Mm. E, it's in the middle. So it's the letters E, E and E that make the sound. E. G -er -e. Mm. The letter N. Full stop. And we have done a lot of writing already. Give yourself a clap. Pause the video if you need more time. And then I'd like you to count me down so I can wipe this whiteboard clean. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, Wendy, what has happened? This is a funny scene, isn't it? I thought the whiteboard was going to be clean and look what's happened. We've got lots of pictures and lots of words. It looks like a very strange collection of pictures and words. I'd like to read them to know what's going on, I think. Hmm. Now, when we were reading yesterday, do you remember the trick that we did? We did it with the banana, didn't we? Yeah, with the banana. We covered up the last letter in each word to make it easier to read. And then we added it on to the end once we'd sounded it out and blended it. So we're going to practice that again today. Now, let's look at our first word up here. What's the first sound? Yeah, it's p, p, isn't it? P. What's the next sound? Well, it's the letter O, and that makes the sound O, O, P, O. How about the last sound? If I cover this one up, it's N. N. So, if I cover up the last sound there, we could blend those three sounds together and we will get o n pon 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 now keep that in your head keep that in your head wendy we'll uncover the last sound and sound that one out by itself d d d d d d d d so let's put it back together pon d pon Pond. Pond. It's a good trick, isn't it? Let's do it with the next word. Next word. Now, this one here. I'll cover up the last sound. As I point to the sounds, you're going to sound them out. Ready? Yes. Yeah, N. That's right, it's E. Eh. This one, s, perfect. So we have n, e, s, n, s, ness, ness. Now, what's the last sound? T, t. So we had ness and t, ness, nest, nest, nest. Birds put their eggs in a nest, in a nest to look after them. Now, the next word we have here is not a real word. In fact, it's an alien word. And that's why we've got the picture of our alien here. Now, the first sound, Wendy, should actually be a capital letter. Because it's his name. Just going to change that now. Don't forget capital letters at the start of any name, even if it's an alien's name. Let's cover up the last sound. Let's cover up the last sound. Ready? B. What's next? Yeah, it's O. Oh. And the last sound? Off, blend it together, but off, boff, boff. Now keep boff in your head. 
Well, and then we will look at the very last sound here. What's this one here? T, t, that's right, it's t. So we've got boff and t. Boft, boft. His name is boft. Brilliant. So let's read the last word. I'm going to cover up that final sound. Final, that means last. Final. And let's sound it out. T, f, n, t, f, n, t, f, n, ten. Ten. So that's a word itself, isn't it? But there's one more sound. We kept ten in our head. And we're going to add the last sound, which is t. So ten, t, ten, t, tent. Good. I love that trick. You don't need to have a banana, but it helps. Now, what I'd like you to do today is to take your Sound Phonics Phase 4 book and open it up to page number 11. 11. A one and a one. 11. Okay, and we see these balloons here. Now, what you're going to need to do today is read the words on these balloons using your Sound Talk. And, if you like, you can use the special trick. So, here, you can point to each sound for this first word. J, a, s, just, t, just, just. Now, if it's a real word, you colour it in. If it isn't a real word, don't colour it in. So you're going to read all of these words. You don't have to use the trick with covering up the last sound, but have a go and see if it helps. See if it's easier, or if you prefer just to read each sound by itself. Great. Now, you're going to need to pause the video to have a bit more time to do that. And there's one last thing. So the last thing is, and again, you're going to do this with your mum or dad, or another adult, um, or your brother or sister, you're going to see how quickly you can read all of these words. Now, if we did this earlier in the week, there will be some words circled that you got wrong. See if you can get them right this time. Have a, have a, have a chat about the ones that you get wrong. And go over them a few times. I don't expect you to get all of them right yet. Maybe you'll get more right than you did last time. Maybe you'll read them quicker than you did last time. If you don't have this book, you can pause the video here to read them. And that is the end of your phonics for today. I will see you next week with some more fun phonics. Bye.